Freedom Daily News. Pissed off Kaepernick involved in big brawl over NFL job but look who threw the first punch. There are some people in this life that you should think twice about ticking off. Colin Kaepernick obviously doesn't pay much attention to that since he's systematically working to make the entire country ready to disown him with his anti-American stance. He's rallied the support of a few of his NFL colleagues and the Antifa types. However, those of us that make up the bulk of the NFL's viewership are somewhat less than impressed with his cowardice. Not only do Americans, in general, appreciate what America has done for us, we don't appreciate someone using their status as a sports figure to try and influence politics. It is, of course, anyone's right to put forth their political views, it's also a right to object and boycott that person or business. This has been the repercussions that Pernick has experienced since he's had a whole lot of trouble finding work in the NFL since his controversial stunt that brought him to all of our attentions. While making Americans mad was bad enough, Kaepernick has made an even bigger enemy with his disrespect, and he might want to watch his back. Not all athletes are as interested in doing damage to the country that gave them their privilege. In fact, some of them are downright patriotic. That is the case with former heavyweight champion and fellow African-American athlete George Foreman. Foreman came out of nowhere and showed Kaepernick what patriotism and appreciation for your country looks like, and there's no insult that Kaepernick can hurl that will discredit Foreman. Back when George Foreman was still in the ring American, athletes were patriots, and the legendary boxer says that's no longer the case. The 68-year-old boxer and grill maker joined the Offended America podcast on Monday where he called out Kevin Durant over his comments about the Golden State Warriors' potential visit to the White House and Colin Kaepernick for his national anthem protests. According to Foreman, all Kaepernick is doing is trying to be another Muhammad Ali by speaking up about politics. But what he needs to realize is that a lot of Americans died in war so that they could have that privilege. We all came in the era where we were patriotic. The greatest day of my life was when I put on the colors, representing the United States Foreman said, referring to the time he won a gold medal in the Summer Olympics. I love the United States, and I love the flag Foreman said. They haven't been brought up with people who were patriotic to even point them in the right direction. Foreman had some advice for Durant too, when it comes to visiting the White House. The boxing champion was invited to meet multiple presidents, but the only one he refused to visit was Richard Nixon. When Nixon was a presidential candidate in 1968, he invited Foreman to be recognized for his gold medal in Madison Square Garden, but Foreman refused because he was worried he was going to get rid of the job corps. He then refused twice more when Nixon was in the White House and still regrets it to this day. Now I have all these photographs with all of the president's previous and I don't have one with Nixon because I was kind of ignorant, Foreman said. The job corps is still in existence. I wish I had gone one time to take a photograph with the president of the United States to go along with the rest of them. And while Durant is a champion, he said refusing to meet with the president, no matter how you feel about him, is the sign of a sore loser. Foreman knew Trump as a young entrepreneur and a promoter. Trump even helped him out of bankruptcy by sponsoring his fight against Evander Holyfield in 1991. He's a good president, Foreman added, a lot of people don't like him but evidently more do because he was elected president of the United States. If anybody knows how to deliver an act out, it's Foreman, and he didn't pull any punches for Kaepernick. There's no amount of white guilt that can be doled out to Foreman because he too holds the moral high ground that so many African Americans seem to be clinging to of being the descendant of a slave. Even though America is not perfect, we still have so much privilege and opportunity here that two black kids armed with their dreams, the help of their coaches and a whole lot of perseverance can get filthy rich doing something they love. They work in an industry that provides nothing but entertainment, and they flourish. If that's not privilege I don't know what is. It would do Pernick well to remember that is the kind of privilege that comes only from a place like America. Sit out the anthem if you want, but just know that it's a personal vendetta, not a racial one, Foreman just proved that. that.